The IDEX EnterAlert test detects enterococci in water samples in 24 hours with no confirmation step. EnterAlert is available in a 100 milliliter format. In the next few minutes, we will demonstrate how to use the EnterAlert test for presence absence detection and for quantification using the QuantiTray system. In the first demonstration, you will see how to use the EnterAlert test for presence absence detection of enterococci. You will need the EnterAlert reagent, a sterile, transparent, non fluorescent 100 ml vessel, a temperature controlled incubator, and a 6 watt 365 nanometer UV lamp. Separate one reagent pack from its strip, taking care not to accidentally open the other packs. Snap open the reagent pack and pour the powder into a 100 ml water sample. Cap the vessel and shake to dissolve the EnterAlert powder. Some particles may remain undissolved. Incubate for 24 hours at 41 degrees centigrade plus or minus 0.5 degrees centigrade or according to your local regulations. After incubation, view the sample under UV light in a dark environment. Shine the light away from your eyes, keep the light within 5 inches of the sample. Any blue fluorescence means a confirmed positive for enterococci. The intensity of the fluorescence does not reflect sample concentration. In this example, the right sample is negative and the left is positive. If you're unsure whether a result is positive, compare the sample with a known negative. However, if the results are ambiguous based on the initial reading, incubate up to an additional 4 hours, but not to exceed 28 hours total, to allow for the fluorescence to intensify. Next, you'll see how to use the EnterAlert test with the QuantiTray system to determine the number of enterococci in a water sample. IDEX offers two sizes of QuantiTray. Both work with the QuantiTray sealer. The standard QuantiTray is a disposable 51-well tray that provides counts up to 200 per 100 milliliter sample without dilutions. The QuantiTray 2000 is a disposable 97-well tray that provides counts up to 2,419 per 100 milliliter sample without dilutions. In addition to the materials used for presence absence detection, for quantification you will need a QuantiTray or QuantiTray 2000, QuantiTray rubber inserts, a QuantiTray sealer, and the included most probable number table or the IDEX automated MPN generator program found at IDEX.com. All of these items are included in the QuantiTray system and are available from IDEX. Turn on the sealer and then wait until a green bar appears on the display. The sealer has now reached the appropriate sealing temperature. Add the EnterAlert powder to a 100 ml sample and cap the vessel. This time, shake until the reagent dissolves completely. Use only a permanent felt-tipped marker to label the QuantiTray. Adhesive labels may adhere to the sealer roller and ballpoint pens may puncture the paper. Hold the QuantiTray at the top with the well side facing your palm. Push the top edge of the QuantiTray in with your free hand while squeezing the tray into a circle. Open the quantity tray by gently pulling the foil tab away from the plastic side. Be careful not to tear the tab. Do not touch the inside of the tray. Pour the sample mixture into the quantity tray, avoiding contact with the foil tab. Place the filled quantity tray on the rubber insert, making sure each well fits its corresponding hole. Push the insert with tray into the sealer until the sealer grabs the tray and pulls it into the slot. If you need to reverse the motor, press and hold the reverse button. However, do not reverse the motor if the rubber insert is completely inside the sealer. The sealer distributes the sample mixture into the QuantiTray wells, seals the wells, and partially ejects the sealed tray. Remove the rubber insert and tray from the sealer. Incubate the sealed tray for 24 hours at 41 degrees centigrade, plus or minus 0.5 degrees centigrade, or according to your local regulations. After incubation, view the QuantiTray with a UV lamp in a dark environment shining the light away from your eyes. Keep the light within five inches of the tray. Mark each blue fluorescent well with a permanent marker, including the large overflow well. Count the marked wells and then refer to the MPN table included with the quantitrays. The most probable number for this example is 28.8 per 100 milliliters. If using quantitray 2000, count the overflow well as a large well. Any blue fluorescence means a confirmed positive for enterococci. Here is an example with both strong and weak fluorescence. There are a total of 22 fluorescent wells. If you're unsure whether a result is positive,
compare the samples side by side with a known negative sample. If the results are ambiguous based on the initial reading, incubate up to an additional four hours, but not to exceed 28 hours total, to allow the fluorescence to intensify. IDEX recommends that you run a quality control procedure for each lot of EntraLert tests. You will find the quality control procedure in the EntraLert product insert. Remember, incubate samples for 24 hours or up to 28 hours total. Samples with no blue fluorescence are negative for enterococci, and samples with any blue fluorescence are positive for enterococci. If using EntraLert with marine water samples, dilute samples at least tenfold with sterile water. Refer to the EntraLert product insert for more information. Always follow these testing guidelines. Use only sterile, non-buffered, oxidant-free water for dilutions. Store tests at 2 to 30 degrees centigrade and always follow a septic technique. Because these procedures may not reflect your local regulations, for compliance testing, be sure to follow all local regulatory procedures. Keep these tips in mind. No confirmation steps are needed. Positives before 24 hours and negatives after 28 hours are also valid. Up to 10 trays can be stacked for incubation. Do not place trays in a box or a bag. For optimum readability, place the rubber insert over the tray before viewing under UV light. Dispose of all samples and materials in accordance with local regulatory guidelines. If you have questions or need more information, call the IDEX water microbiology experts at the number on your screen.